So I tried really hard to pull my hair back in a bun because those who've been around forever know that when I have my hair in the bun, it means it's uh, it's time to really get things done. And I've got my stern ballet bun on, but my hair's too short these days, and so I can't really manage it. And it's such the cutest little teeny tiny nothing thing up there now because, you know, short hair. But I had to do it because I am getting uh, stuff done today in a weird way because we're making a giant fail, really, a batch of soap that I, uh, well, I miscalculated. It wasn't a good time. And I am going to tell you more about why I'm showing you this and how interesting it is in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where you make all the soapy things. And yeah, you're here for me messing up soap. We are doing soap again, which is fun. And we are doing the first round of next week's uh, Project Soapway soap, which is what I called the Hell Challenge, because I saw it on Saponification Nation and went, that's gorgeous, how do we do it? And this was my first attempt. And so I guess we're not going to go super into what I was thinking about and how I designed it. I mean, I guess we probably will too as well. But point is, I miscalculated. And remember when I did in June, I did the updated like Pride soap and had multiple little teeny tiny layers. And I miscalculated the lye solution, well, the amount that I needed to put into the actual soap oils. And uh, ended up with something like a 35% super fat. Yeah, those bars of soap actually ended up being extraordinary. Like, they are wonderful. Yeah, they took forever to fully cure, and I think they're still soft. They're not losing any more weight, but they are still soft. But they have the best lather ever. Love them so hard. This one is wildly more than that 34% super fat. I don't know how much wildly more. We're going to get into that in the video. Let's get to it. Let's talk about how that happened and whether or not I was even able to get it out of the mold and what it did. So let's get there and watch this very weird mess unfold. Okay, so this one is a complete journey and I just, I had to show you how much I messed up this. So the Hell Challenge is coming up this next week for Project Soapway and I calculated everything out, right? And I had measured everything out in grams. I took this out to grams and I specifically put the exact same amount of color in each section of my oils, right? So I split the batch in half and I did the satin pillowcase for the gray and I did and I don't know what it is for the pink because it's a brambleberry color and that, uh, you know, that, that thing faded off a long time ago. And then I started measuring out in literal grams. Grams, guys. I did this for each individual layer, right? And my plan is measure out the oil, measure out the lye solution, do the layer, you know, let it set up so I can then pull my sculpting tool through, which I built in Canva. And it was fun, but I had a problem with all of it. Now you can probably already see the problem, but I was soaping at four o'clock in the morning. It's just one of those gremlin things. Anyway, I put like what, like 66, 70 ounces of, or grams of uh, the soap oils in there. And I only had like 10, 11 grams of the lye solution. Yeah, I this didn't register for me and it mixed up just fine. And then after that, it like solidified just fine. And so 
I'm going cool. Awesome. This is great. And then I got to the point where I got to like the second layer with the pink and it wasn't lining up. There wasn't like enough volume in the actual mold to pull my sculpting tool through. And I know, I know, I know you, I said that I designed it in Canva and you looked at it and went, that's what you designed in Canva just for, yeah, I did leave me alone. I can't di listen. It was all a moment and you'll get more of the actual hell challenge and you know why we were doing this this week because again, project Soapway challenge, but I really went to Canva and gave my exact measurements for my mold. And so I knew exactly what the, the circles and everything were going to look like for this. And I had zero problems with this, you know, zero problems whatsoever. Look, it's set up. It's so beautiful. The soap there, it looks like it's emulsified and it's good to go, you know? But like I said, I got to this point and I, um, realized as soon as I poured this all in that it barely covered the gray. And I'm like, that's weird. What happened there? And so I just thought, well, you know, I guess my maths are off. I don't understand things, geometry, whatever. And so I just doubled it up and I did another batch of the pink and I just thought I will just make some more oil and some more lye solution. It'll be fine to continue on and just went about my merry way. And with each time of this, I was putting it onto the, you know, uh, to a heat pad just off camera and letting it firm up between pores, doing my thing and going on with my life. And I didn't realize until kind of far into this, I think maybe after layer number three that I had uh, messed up the lye solution. And when I messed up, when I say mess up the lye solution, I mean, I messed this up dramatically and I was just really kind of shooketh when I figured it out, when I found out that I had done so. And the only reason that I had figured it out is because I was almost out of oils and I was certainly not even close to being out of lye, like not even close. And that was the only reason, that was the only reason that I went back and I looked at my measurements to see what I had done wrong with my calculating of each of these individual layers. Because look at this, again, it's, it's not coming out terribly. You know, I had only let this one set up for about I don't know, four or five minutes. Granted, it was very cold and it was early in the morning. Like I said before, though, that's not really an excuse. I always soap this early in the morning. So, you know, whatever. But I did cut out the part where I doubled it up just to get to, you know, the next layer because I still haven't figured out what's going on. I'm still thinking that everything is fine. And I just decided I have to double each layer up now. So that's what I did with the gray. I doubled that up for from my measurements and Again, it's, it's looking fine. It's no separation. It's working. It's firming up. It's wild. And then I get to the point where, again, I realized that um, it was all horribly awry. And by the time I got to that point, I was just so, sort of like, okay, I'm not going to scrap this. I'm going to just keep going because I am interested. I want to see what actually happens because I've shown you guys what lie heavy soap looks like. And I suppose I've shown you what a, an abundance of super fat looks like but when you guys see the actual super fat for this what this ended up being I mean I probably am going to title it something like that or you know put it in the thumbnail picture one or the other so you probably already know but it's insane I think the last one that I did was like a 34% super fat this is so much worse Yeah, so at that point, like I said, I realized that I had basically had no oil left. And I was sort of calculating 11, based on that 57.82 grams, grams for all of it. So I had taken just the lye in that solution. And there's the one that I was talking about earlier with a 34% super fat. I made that back in May and I just decided to let them all sit and, you know, see what happens. They got pretty firm. I really did like them and I love the lather on them. So that 34% super fat, it's absolutely great. But ultimately with this one, what this ends up being, if I'm just using that 57 grams to calculate for five different uh, layers and I'm only putting essentially 11 grams of the lye solution in, not factoring in the additional 150 grams of water that's in that carafe there that I'm pouring out of, 
it's like what, like a 75% super fat? Yeah, I've certainly never done that before. And I have done some weird things. I've done some weird things in the name of, let's see what happens. I've done some weird things in the name of, oh my gosh, I made a mistake. And I have never managed to do a 75% uh, super fatted soap. And so I was interested, right? I wanted to see what would happen. And so that's what we are getting today is me continuing on with this journey and seeing what happened. Now, see, look at that. It's granted, it should be a lot harder than it is, uh, considering it was sitting there for, I don't know, probably about 20 or 30 minutes just hanging out. Now, that's all the pl the things, the pink that I scraped off for each of my, you know, sculpted layers or whatever. And I just sort of decided that that's what I was going to use for the end of it and to use for the final two layers. And that worked out really well. You know, that was great. And so I did get some good tips and, you know, tricks and whatever for the actual hell challenge because I couldn't submit this one because, you know, it's it's not even so. It's mostly just a whole bunch of oil at this point. But it definitely had no problems working in for the with the, you know, fresh soap batter, which is something that I decided to do with the hell challenge. So I didn't end up with any extra batter because I like to make my life harder. You know, I don't like extra batter, even though there are a million different things that you can do with it. Make some soap samples. But so I did that. And like I said, uh, with this particular one, I just wanted to see what it would do. I was fairly certain that it was going to end up this giant congealed. Well, not even congealed. It's going to end up just a mess. Right. And nothing was going to actually stay in this rectangular form. And so it was just all going to separate and be this globby, awful, crazy mess. And so that's what I was expecting to find. Now, with this final little bit of the gray, I'm just taking the pink that's left over because I still have to obviously get the sculpt in. And I'm just going to mix it up with the gray, put a little bit more satin pillowcase to see if I can get close to the grays throughout the rest of it. Why? Because I'm going to finish it off. I mean, I have to finish it. I started this process. I'm not just going to abandon ship in the middle of it because, you know, fun. And luckily I did this with just a little, you know, four bar mold there with the, uh, the one that I did for pride with all the little teeny tiny layers, the 34% super fat that I, you know, showed earlier. That was like at least two dozen bars, right? I really do love those soaps though. That 34% super fat, if you are okay with a very long cure time, I would try it. I would really up the super fat. I love the lather on it so freaking much. But like I said, I made that in like May and it's still a little bit soft. It's not losing any more weight, but there is a lot of oil still in it. Heavily super fatted and such a delightful lather. I use it to wash my face and well, it's amazing. So yeah, with this particular thing, I am just going to put it right back on the heating pad, pad and call it a, you know, a C-pop or a gel once I have everything in this, since I have been doing that for every other layer. And in total, this whole pour was about 45 minutes. And so of actual time that went by, not time that I was actually working on it because I did have to wait in between layers. So it wasn't terrible. But it was very much an adventure. Now let's see what the end of this venture actually looks like. And onto the cut and by cut, I mean, I am not cutting this because this is what I found the next day. And uh, it definitely separated. So that is all oil that is just coming. <laughs> It's amazing. It's it's just so much fun. I I understand that a lot of people get real pressed when, you know, mistakes happen in the soap shop and it can be disastrous. It can suck for sure. Um for me, I I don't know. It's all a teaching moment for me. It's an experience and then I get to do weird things. Like, oh, let's pH test it. Nope, yep, that's super oil. Of course it's oil. What the hell else would it be? This is not the lie solution separating. Certainly everything that the lie found or that the lie could find to saponify, it did. But there's just so much oil that there's only so much lie can do. You know what I mean? So that is the current state of where this soap is uh, right now. 
I poured this back when the Barbie movie came out. That's why it was uh, the pink and the gray. And so whenever that was. And it is still sitting here. I've just been watching it for the past however many months. And it doesn't do this anymore. But I do put it on a fresh piece of cardboard every couple days. And the cardboard is completely, you know, soaked through within a couple days still. So it is still losing oil. Um, I haven't cut it yet. I think I might cut it for the actual uh, Project Soap White that's coming up. And so definitely stay tuned for that to see how it cuts and what it does because it's been an interesting journey. But if anyone ever wanted to know how much oil is too much, I would say certainly 75% is way too much. Um, 34% with the one that I showed back in June, that's not too much. You can totally do that for sure. That was a great time. But 75%? That's, that's, that's not a good idea. Do not super fat your soap that much, you know? Yeah, so that's super wild. This footage was done so long ago. This soap is still soft. It is still losing oil, so it's still losing weight. There's no more water left to lose. It is still losing oil weight, just kind of seeping, but not in a gross way. It's, I'm gonna cut it. I think, I think we'll cut it in the next like week or so, maybe with the Project Soap Way actual submissions and I'll show you guys what it looks like and whatnot but what a bonehead mistake to make it's disappointing for sure but ultimately hey it's a learning thing and it's uh, not a total loss obviously because this soap totally shred it down if I'm never able to cut it or it never does anything whatever and turn it into you know melt and pour turn it into a different soap all the things and so it's not a loss it's just really wild that I ended up doing this and so I guess a do not soap at three four o'clock in the morning don't do that it's a terrible idea two I do that all the time so this is not an excuse for me having made that mistake I just made that mistake regardless but anyway I hope you guys had fun with that uh stay tuned obviously subscribe do the things if you want to see what the cut of this guy is like I said next week because we will be kicking off another week of project soapway challenges with this the hell challenge with my bar going first, not this one, and the three winners. So stick around so you can see all of that, plus the cut of this guy. That would be cool. Sudzers, you do stick around for all cuts of all guys, and I appreciate you. You guys are epic, and that is a fact. Thank you for being so, for being you, for being here. I am out of here, but I'll see you guys all again in a few days for another round of Project Soapway Hell Challenge Soapy Fun. Bye.